Firefighters are now tackling more than a dozen wildfires in California. The latest blaze is affecting thousands of people in Los Angeles, where people have been forced to leave their homes. Much of the land in the state is bone dry and winds of up to 80 miles an hour are predicted in the mountains around L.A. From Southern California, Sophie Long reports. This is the latest blaze that quickly became a terrifying inferno sweeping through hundreds of acres in just a few hours. Firefighters battling the Getty Fire in Los Angeles now have a short window of favorable conditions to try to contain it. Daylight means they can spray retardant from the air to slow the burn and stop the fires reducing more multi-million dollar homes to smoldering debris. Hours ago, this was someone's home. It bears little resemblance now to what the people living here left behind. In the early hours of the morning, the fire, propelled by strong winds, swept up the hill. People living on the other side of the canyon were lucky, but you can see just how narrow their escape was. Some who've lived here for more than 50 years have never seen it so bad. Well, when I saw that sky completely red, just massive red sky and a lot of smoke, I was concerned, that's why I went right up to the fire line to the, where the start of it was. Murray stayed last night, but now he's preparing to leave. The wind is due to pick up again, increasing the risk of more fires and the rapid growth of those already burning. Meanwhile, thousands of firefighters continue to try to contain the Kincaid fire in Sonoma County. It's been burning for nearly a week and has swept through around 70,000 acres of California's wine country. Sophie Long, BBC News, Los Angeles.